Hey guys, welcome to Khan's Econ Nugget channel. Uh, today we are going to discuss how we can calculate real GDP using the nominal GDP and GDP deflator data to comment on economic growth trends. So here the numbers uh, in the blue shaded region are the given numbers and the two columns in the yellow shaded area are the ones we will be calculating. I have already calculated for your convenience, but I am going to explain those numbers. So the given numbers are those three columns on your left hand side, right? The year from 1974 through 1977, then the nominal GDP for those four years and their corresponding GDP deflator data. Let's recall that the GDP deflator equals nominal GDP divided by real GDP times 100. So for the base year, uh, let's first calculate the base year's real GDP from this data. So nominal GDP is 1000 divided by 100, that's GDP deflator, times 100. So 1000 divided by 100 is 10, 10 times 100 is 1000. So our real GDP for the base year is also 1000. So the point to be noted here is that for nominal GDP 1000 and the real GDP 1000 for the base year means for the base year, the nominal GDP and real GDP will always be same because the GDP deflator is 100. Okay, so for base year, those two numbers will be always same. If you get different numbers between nominal and real GDP for base year, then you have calculated something differently and double check your calculation. Now let's move on to the next year. So 1975 real GDP is using the same formula, nominal GDP 2000 divided by real GDP 120 times 100. That gives us 1667. Similarly, let's calculate 1976 real GDP. 3500, that's the nominal, divided by the GDP deflator 150 times 100. That gives us $2,333. And similarly, for 1977, the real GDP equals 4000 divided by 200 times 100. That gives us $2,000. Now let's move on to the fifth column of this table uh, titled comment on the economic growth. So you may require to comment on the economic growth over those four years, but that comment is only valid once you have the real GDP data. So now that we have real GDP data, we should be able to comment on what happened to the economic growth uh, from year to year over those four years. So base year is 74, so no comment there. So the year next is 75. So it looks like base year's real GDP was 1000 and the next year's real GDP was 1667. That means economy grew over those two years, 74 through 75, right? Now let's see what happened between 1975 through 76. So real GDP in 1975 was 1667. The next year it became 2333. So that's an increase. So economy in real sense grew. Therefore, so the comment would be, yes, the economy grew uh, over 1975-76 period. So now let's see what happened between year 1976 and 77. So 1976, the real GDP was 2,333. But in 77, unfortunately, the real GDP size was 2,000, which is less than the previous year's real GDP. So we comment here that the economy shrunk. Uh, from 1976 real GDP to 1977 real GDP. So there was a negative growth for that year. And so, so I just wanted to reiterate that once you face a question like this, that year is given, nominal GDP is given for those years, and the GDP deflator is given for those years, and they are looking forward to your comment on economic growth, in order to be able to comment on the economic growth, we first have to find out real GDP. And that formula comes from the GDP deflator formula, right? GDP deflator equals nominal GDP over real GDP times 100. So we, from this formula, we find real GDP to be nominal GDP over GDP deflator times 100. So 
and that's how we calculate it. And once we calculate that, then by looking at those numbers from year to year, if it is increased, then we call there is an economic growth occurred. And if you see there is a shrinkage or decrease of real GDP from year to year, then we comment for that year that economy shrunk or economy experienced a negative growth. Thank you so much, guys. And if you have any question, like always, drop a line uh, underneath the comment box or email me at econ.nuggets at gmail.com. Thank you.